Peter Piper picked a pick. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Okay, we're saving that. Screw it. Okay. Sorry, just doing some uh, voice tests. Want to make sure I'm giving you guys a great delivery. Call me Anchorman Carter. So, today, first off, I just want to say happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday today. I wanted to record every Sunday, but things get a little sidetracked. Or uh, things. I got a little sidetracked this weekend. Did some golfing, kind of drank a little bit, which it was the first time in a while. It was nice to just sit back, kind of relax, and enjoy. I want to point out that that was by far the worst round of golf I've had in in a year. I think in, in two years. I hit over 100, and that usually doesn't happen. So it was, uh, it was a little bit of an ego check, which I needed that. But it was good. It was fun times. It was good. I hope you all enjoyed your weekend. And once again, hope you had an amazing Tuesday. So let's dive right in. So the title of this podcast is The Importance of Consistency. So this is something that has just been, man, I wanted to, I wanted to title this podcast The Struggles of the Grind, but I didn't want to sound like I was complaining because I'm not. I'm not complaining at all. I just want to point out that working towards your dreams, working on something every day with all of your energy, it gets pretty exhausting. But the fun thing about it is that I'm having fun. I'm having a good time doing it regardless of what happens. So anyways, let's dive in. So just a little bit about what I'm doing. I know I know the past two episodes I've kind of been, I just want y'all to get to know me a little bit before I really dive in and uh, talk more about fitness, nutrition, um, and all of that stuff. So, diving in. I, uh, I've just been struggling, not only put, putting in the work, like, like I've been doing that. It's just exhausting at times, like I said. So, I'm working full time right now, working at a liquor store, stocking, stocking booze, throwing boxes, delivering booze to bars. It's something that I'm not necessarily happy with, but I'm doing it because it's good money and it's supporting my dreams as of now. So the exciting news is I actually landed a new position. This uh, this new position is at, it's at Orange Theory Fitness, which is located in Bozeman and I'm pretty sure nationwide. They, uh, it's a pretty cool place. So I just landed that. So I'll be, I'll still be working full time, but I'm transitioning into an environment that I will actually enjoy and learn and absorb things about fitness and training. So I'm super excited about that. One thing though, so working full time, I'm trying to attain my training certification through ACE right now while also preparing for summer courses coming up. I believe July 5th is the start for those. And then just a full-on fall semester too. So this is my last semester at school. It'll be exciting and it'll be nice to be done. But just just preparing mentally for that and everything that's been going on and, and handling this new training business, which I'm so thankful for, taking on new clientele, helping them out, being being a, an amazing resource, providing that amazing value. It's just all, it's all, it's all very taxing, just energy-wise, and not not in a bad way at all. I just want to make that clear. Not in a bad way at all. So I am really struggling with, with the full-time job thing. I, I want to take this leap into training. Um, it's nice that I'm transitioning into an environment to where I can be surrounded by that every day and, like I said, gain new information, which, is, which will be a big step for me. So I'm excited to do that. But... The main point of this podcast is just focusing on staying on track, focusing on consistency, whether it's towards your career, towards your physical goals, towards your financial goals, towards, towards a, a relationship, a girlfriend, boyfriend, towards anything. Just, just staying consistent with the effort that you're putting in and trying to get the most out of all of that and still live a balanced life. Okay, so I took some notes here, so I, so I, I want to stay on track with this. Um, as I said, staying on track, keeping consistent, it's not easy. It's not easy. It takes work, and I'm telling you, you have to remain patient. This is me more talking to myself. I have to remain patient. I want to be an expert-level trainer 
that knows everything about fitness, training, nutrition, and that's just that's just not the case right now. And and I I'm learning to accept that, but also to work my ass off to get to that point. So one thing, actually a couple things that help me kind of stay on track, help me help me realize that I'm doing the right things, um, is just taking it day by day and making sure to not look too far in the future to not to not picture all of the work that it's going to take because sometimes you can get overwhelmed with all the work that you're you're going to need to put in in the future and those days aren't even here yet you know what I'm saying so why stress about the upcoming days the upcoming work you have to put in if that is not today so living day by day helps with that enjoying the whole process being extremely present, whether you are writing a writing it up, a down, whether you're failing, whether you, whether you are uh, just anything that involves putting in effort towards something, you will hit obstacles, you will hit down times, you will be succeeding at times, but that might not be the case all the time. So the the most important thing here is to just enjoy the process, and that sounds. It sounds cliche and you hear that a lot, but it's so true. If you aren't enjoying the every little thing about what you're doing on a daily basis to achieve a goal, it's probably not something you're super passionate about. So some more things that help just, just with staying on track is just so I personally write out a daily slash weekly schedule for myself. So sticking to that, sticking to my daily routines, sticking to my weekly routines helps me stay structured. It gives me gives me more motivation because when I physically write things down, it makes it harder for me not to do that throughout the day. So when I see it on paper, it's like, oh, shit, like I need to do this or else I am going to be upset with myself. And and that's the other thing. That's the other thing to touch on real quick. You just need to learn to accept you for you, accept the energy you're putting in. And even if you felt like you didn't put enough in that day, you have to accept it. As long as you are chipping away little by little, little, little by little towards your dreams and goals, like just making that 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 slow progress. Slow progress is better than no progress. That's one of my favorite sayings. So as long as you're making that progress every day, there's nothing to get down on yourself about, which is definitely easier said than done, especially especially with me. So. Obviously, like working on myself, working on yourself, taking some time just for you, whether that's creative time, whether that's uh, just kind of stimulating your mind, whether reading, um, writing, doing something that is a hobby, golfing, um, just anything to kind of take your mind off of what you're currently doing and take just some time for yourself to really focus on yourself. Not only that, but to kind of find that balance with family, friends, and outside relationships, it just it just helps. When you can maintain somewhat of a social life while also just applying yourself crazily towards your goals and dreams, it's just it's just something to tie into that happiness and, and, and it's it helps you stay on track that way too. Something that I do every day I, I wake up, I watch motivational videos. That's like the first thing I do in the morning. So when I'm like tired and I don't want to do anything, I don't want to get out of bed, I flip on a motivational video. Something that really like lights that fire under my ass to be like, if you want, if you truly want this, you will do anything to get it. So that's just something that helps me. I know, I know a lot of my friends do that same thing or something similar to that. And it, it truly is... It's just a different ball game when you can have that outside motivation other than yourself because there are days when I get up and it's like, ah, I don't want to go work out right now. I don't want to get up and study. I don't want to do this. So that's that's the reason for the motivational videos. It just kind of urges you to to get after it. Like I said, lights that fire under my ass, gets me going. It's like, okay, you know what? I do want this. Let's get up. Let's go. So I like that a lot. That definitely helps me stay on track. Another thing, just from starting this business, just the fulfillment that I get from clientele, just the feedback, um, their happiness with the results that they get, just helping them out with this whole process. Like that's something, that's the whole reason why I'm doing this training business. That's literally the whole reason why I'm doing it. I want to help people out and just receiving 
just receiving that feedback from them that they're happy makes me ecstatic. Like there's no other way to put it. There's no other feeling to describe that when you can help someone reach their fitness goals um, and, and more than that as well. So, yeah, kind of like I said, I, I, I don't need to go into that because I touched on that, just not being hard on yourself, making that slow progress every day. Whether it is, whether you are making massive leaps in a single day or you're just doing like one or two things to get you in a better place, whatever you're doing, just take away those pauses from the day. Okay, so this is one thing I said that helps, helps me stay on track, but it's also something that I struggle with too. Give me one sec here. Got some ASMR going on the mic there. It's a nice gulp of water. Okay. So, like, I I do struggle finding balance um, with family. I always feel like I could be putting more time and spending more time with friends, family, and just not necessarily making other people happy, but just spending more time with them because there's so many examples that I hear, especially from just elderly people, that they say the the things you miss out on life, you you don't look back and say you wish you would have put more time into your job or your career or or your company. It's always more time with family, and that's something that weighs on me every single day that I that I don't see them. I'm literally an hour and a half from my family, so it's not it's not something that's like crazy out of the way for me to just go take care of but at the same time I'm I'm on this path right now and it's super hard for me to not only delegate time to myself but to delegate that time to my family and friends when I'm not when I'm not working or uh or helping clients or or trying to improve my own business so it's just one thing that I, I definitely need to work on. And it's like that, that fear of missing out with your family. So I don't want to look back on my life when I'm, when I'm older and be like, ah, oh, man, you know what? Like, I really wish I would have spent more time with family. It's something that, that I've been working on a lot, especially the last couple of years. It's, uh, there's, just nothing, there's just nothing more important. And, yeah, it's just important to, to keep up on your social life, but also to stay in touch with family and friends. So, so another thing, just kind of, kind of talking about the balance and the struggles with, um, going after your goals and dreams. I know I can't be the only one who wonders this, but it's like, at times I wonder, is this worth it? Is this work that I'm putting in worth it? Are these sacrifices that I'm making worth it? Is this going to really help me later down the road? And the answer is, even if it doesn't help you, if you are enjoying putting in that work, there's no reason to wonder if it's going to be worth it. If you're enjoying the process of all of this hard work, of all these sacrifices, of studying, researching, putting in the time with clients, if, if you are enjoying going after a goal of yours, whether or not if you achieve that goal or not, it's you enjoyed the process and that that is a w that is a win in life if if you can get down to the nitty gritty even through the ups and downs and enjoy everything you are doing that's uh that's contentment and that's kind of what i'm shooting for in life and 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 that's something that training and just this new path that i'm on has brought me so another question i ask myself is am i doing this right and that's another question that Yes, it's it's needed to be asked, but at the same time, life has its funny ways of kind of teaching you lessons, whether you are doing the right thing or not. You will find out with, with the results and the consequences of your actions. So my biggest thing right now is is I'm not an expert trainer. I'm not an expert in nutrition. I'm not an expert in fitness. I do know quite a bit on the training and, and fitness side of things. Nutrition, I definitely lack. But like I have a general general knowledge of that, and it's just like it's almost a little bit of the the imposter syndrome. It's like I feel I feel I don't know enough to be supplying my clients with information about training, nutrition, fitness, et cetera, et cetera. But the fact of the matter is, is that I 
I limit myself a lot. I have a hard time accepting my accomplishments and just kind of believing myself at times, especially when, especially when those negative thoughts hit. And that's just something I, I've dealt with my whole life. Um, to just getting off track here, but it's something that I've dealt with my whole life. And the only thing that really helps me conquer those negative thoughts is just to grind and gain more confidence in what I am doing, gain more confidence in training, nutrition, fitness, to make sure that I am supplying the best, most useful information I possibly can be. So that'll definitely help out with the imposter syndrome for me. Um, Yes, I'm not the most knowledgeable, but I know for a fact that I will be putting in the work, working my ass off just to make sure that my clients are happy um, and that I am gaining and retaining as much information as possible. So now to tie into the positives, I know that was kind of a, that was kind of a downer session of that, but just some positives and some things I've learned just from the short one to two months that I've been doing this already and, and starting my, my own personal training business and trying to get off the ground and trying to become successful in this industry. So just, just the positives. First here, actually helping people get more closer and reaching their fitness goals. Like I touched on earlier in this episode, there's no better feeling than seeing someone do something that they were either nervous or like scared to do or didn't believe that they could do it. And seeing them seeing them achieve the results that they wanted more than likely for a long time, but they just haven't put in the work or haven't had the right pathway to reach those results, it's one of the most fulfilling feelings out there. And it's just, once again, that's literally the whole reason why I'm doing all this. Uh, just learning a ton about people in general, and not only people but learning about fitness, nutrition, and learning about business. Like, I, I've just been learning so much, um, different, di different ways to market, different ways to, to catch, catch an eye on the internet, different ways to run ads. Not only that, but, like, just the diverse amount of people that I'm meeting, not only clients, but through social media, through other people out there who are doing similar things, just reaching out, hearing their feedback, hearing their input. It's just... It's just nice to make those connections, and it's, it's something that keeps me striving for more and more of this. And I just know that those connections are only going to get better, which is the most exciting part about, about that. So, just not only learning about people, but reaching people, like I said, making those connections, interacting with people learning that way as well. Like everybody has their own opinions. Everybody has their, their, their facts about fitness as well. And it's just super interesting to hear everything with an open mind. Take it with a grain of salt. Whether they are right or, or, or not, it, that doesn't really matter as long as I'm, I'm just like taking everything in. I just love hearing everybody's input, especially on fitness because like I said, once again, everybody is so subjective. Some things may not work for everybody and that's just that's just facts so it's just super amazing to see all the information out there and what everybody kind of feels or or weighs in on that that aspect of it so once again the positives um just just the immense support that i've been getting from this it's just been it's been pretty damn awesome i'm not gonna lie not only from family but from friends as well from people that I've known like since middle school or high school that I may not be so close to, but they are supporting in a way that I would never imagine. And it's just, it's just amazing. It's just amazing when you have that support. And once again, whether you have that support or not, if you are going after your dream, go after your dream. You don't, you don't need the support. It helps. It, it makes it more comforting. It makes it more safe, it makes it more of a safe feeling when you are taking these risks and making those sacrifices. But if you have a dream in this life and someone is shitting on, on that or is not supporting that, like they don't have control over you is what I'm getting at. You you basically manifest your own destiny and reality. So if you 
if you're letting that one person or that 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 cup those couple people kind of get at you and say oh like just not supporting your dream or maybe doubting it why why should that matter it's your dream man it's your dream why would you let any of that get to you so also just just from going through this process it's just like anything else more experience um equals more confidence in what you're doing so right now I'm gaining more confidence in the programs that I'm offering to the client to my clients and gaining an extreme amount of confidence in the value that I've been putting into my clients. So it's just something that I can just rest my head easier at night. I'm not thinking about, oh, I could have done this better, I, I could have done that better, I could have put more energy or effort into it. I'm literally giving it my all and I know my clients see that I've gotten just great feedback and it's just been it's been a pretty awesome time. That's all I got to say. And gaining that confidence help, helps me feel more comfortable with doing what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not the most knowledgeable. So so having this experience and having the ability to learn and, and, and have others learn with me in this process and support me with that, it's just, it's just really nice. It, it makes it easy, to be honest. Another thing. I'm chasing, I'm literally chasing my goal and my dream that I've, that I've had for a while. And I know I've talked about this in the first two podcasts, but it's just, it's just an amazing feeling. And I really just want to pass that down to people, uh, kind of talking about your dream and goal. Like if, if no one's supporting it, like, why would you let that get to you? This is sort of the same thing. We are not put here on this earth to suffer, man. Like we are here to just be happy beings be happy with just being alive and and doing what we want and it seems like a lot of us today are just finding a job to have a job have a have a nice paying job which money is important we need money throughout in order to live but it shouldn't be the main it shouldn't be the main driver in why you're doing something if it is no judgment absolutely no judgment but all I'm saying is money does not create happiness. Happiness creates happiness. So if you are happy in what you're doing, whether you're bringing in a lot of cash or not, you're winning. That's life. Being content and happy with what you are doing is life. So just keep that in mind. Okay, just to end this podcast with a couple things that I've been learning it might say, oh, we got some fireworks going on outside. Happy 4th, by the way, to everybody. So, just a couple things. Um, I just kind of want to put a nice little end cap on this episode. One, one of my favorite sayings, I mentioned it earlier, slow progress is better than no progress. Don't beat yourself up for the progress that you might not be making. As long as you are chipping away at a goal every single day, that is the goal. So if you can honestly look back on the day and say, this, I did this one thing to grow today, that's, that's a W. If you are growing every day, you are winning. Two, you can't rush the process. So put in the work, have faith in yourself and what you're doing, and stay consistent with that. Obviously, doubts, negative thoughts, failures, walls, obstacles, they hit. But you've got to remain consistent. You've got to keep pushing. You've got to break through that shit because... If you let something like that stop you, you're going to be living with regret. So this is just talking from my experience. I uh, There's been a couple experiences in my life to where I could have put in more effort. I could have been better. And I'm telling you, living with that feeling of regret is pretty daunting. It's It's something that you have to accept because you can't go back in time and change things. You have to accept it. So... All I'm saying is put in that work right now. Know what you're doing right now is going to get you to the path or the, the end goal that you want. And just keep, keep grinding and, and just stay consistent and keep that faith up, please. It's the most important part about all of this. So third point here, once again, touching on it'll all be worth it if you are enjoying the process. If you are having a good time and you can, and you can say that you enjoy the ups, the downs, the obstacles, the challenges the problems, the failures, if you enjoy all of that, you are on the right track. There's no need to ask if all of this will be worth it because it's already worth it. You're enjoying it. Boom. Plain and simple. Okay. Chase your passion. Life is just too short to not to go after something that you're truly passionate about. So find what that, whatever that is 
and absolutely go after it with all of your energy. And I'm telling you right now, it's it's a pretty special feeling when when, I, when you just get to wake up and do the things you love. It's rather amazing. And that's what life is about, man. Whether it's just living in general or going after a goal or going after your dream woman or just just going after things. Just just trying to find what you are passionate about and basically diving into that with all that you have. Last couple points here. Happiness over everything. It's It kind of ties into that last one. If you are doing something that isn't making you happy or it has a negative effect on your life, cut that shit out. It's not worth it. It is absolutely not worth it. If it's detrimental to your health, if it is causing you to to kind of be placed in that negative mindset, uh, it's just not going to do you any good to, to keep plugging along with that. And then the last thing here, just live free. Live absolutely free. Be yourself. Don't be afraid about what people are going to think. Don't be afraid about what people are going to say or what they believe. If you have something in this life that you want to go after it, go after it. There's nothing stopping you but you. So you have that power. Like I said earlier, you have that power to manifest your own reality, which is super crucial. Some of us let... The outside factors, and I fall into this trap as well. Some of us let the outside factors get to us to a point where we aren't acting ourselves or we're super conscious about what we do to not get that negative reaction from the public, from friends, whatever. Um, there's just no better, there's no more freeing feeling in the world than being 100% yourself. So that's what I'm going to end today's podcast on. I appreciate you guys for listening. Next week, I just want to give you a little outline. I want to sit down. If I, if I can't get a guest next week, which I really, really want to, like I said, more than likely it'll be one of my friends, and we're going to talk about fitness, business, life. We'll, we'll, we'll just talk about what uh, kind of what this podcast is all about. And if I can't get that guest, I'm just going to give you all an outline of what I've been doing in the gym, what I've been eating, kind of my current goals right now. And yeah, once again, I appreciate y'all for listening. Happy Tuesday. Enjoy the grind and enjoy the rest of your week. Happy 4th, everybody.